What's up everybody? I am uh, just making a couple road trips today, buying some inventory for the store. And so uh, it's freaking cold. I'm running late. Let's, uh, let's get this thing rolling, shall we? Thank you for tuning in. I am the Duke Without Fear, and I am on a little road trip to pick up some inventory for Without Fear Comics. And um, I'm meeting two individuals today, possibly three, but uh, one of them hasn't contacted me back yet. Uh, the first individual I am meeting, I am going to be picking up some vintage action figures. Not a whole lot, just like five of them, uh, but they're really cool figures and uh, then I'm going to be meeting a guy about an hour and a half away from that meeting uh, to pick up hopefully 1200 comic books uh, and those look like I don't know what they really are don't know a whole lot about them he doesn't seem like he knows a whole lot about them um, from the pictures I saw it looks like a bunch of modern stuff which you know I would like to start getting some older stuff, but um, I kind of have to build multiple inventories. So uh, up until this point in this process, the biggest struggle that I have had with selling comics online uh, and becoming an established online comic book seller, uh, store, or whatever, uh, resource, uh, has been finding inventory. Now, before I launched my website, I would say 100% the biggest problem is finding inventory because what a physical store has that an online store does not have other than foot traffic is a place where people can bring their comic books and say, hey, I don't want these anymore. Would you like to buy them? And they say yes, and then they get really awesome comics and pay people not a lot of money for them most of the time. Um, so that's the biggest advantage in my opinion so far of having a physical store is that the comic books come to you and until I get more established as a buyer and a seller my struggle has been to find a consistent inventory stream so uh, I have just been you know looking and searching and finding collections and comics to buy and you know sometimes it's good sometimes they pop up all over the place and then other times it's like a drought and you know there's nothing nothing to buy from when I was selling on whatnot you know on whatnot the good thing about it for me used to be that you can move like when I first started selling on whatnot I was selling in a day what I had sold in a month prior like you just move so much inventory and so when I was doing that all the time like having like two three whatnot shows a week like you just blow through inventory and so it was kind of really difficult to find and you know now I'm getting I've got like a pretty good I'm I'm building up quite a bit of inventory but I've got to have like honestly because I'm going to start going to conventions and stuff get my name out there and you know try to like get people to know who I am uh, and I kind of have to have multiple inventories I have to have a website inventory and I have to have uh, like an in-person 
person inventory and then I have like stuff that I sell on eBay that I don't think is good enough to sell on my website uh, or you know it's like not exactly what I'm selling on my website like I got a bunch of little Orphan Annie comics I'm not gonna sell that on the website because they're like I don't think anybody's gonna ever buy it off of the website but I can sell it on eBay where it's gonna get massive exposure you know and then like loose toys I've got I've got a bunch of loose Star Wars ships and uh, I don't I haven't made the decision to sell loose toys on the website yet uh, at this point I just want to sell new toys on the website so you know I've, I've kind of got to build numerous numerous inventories up and then like you know I'm thinking about trying and whatnot again I don't know if I am because uh, the last literally the last four or five sh attempts that I made on whatnot to sell uh, it literally I literally sold nothing I sold like one comic out of like five shows and that's trash it's just a waste of my time I can't do that right but if I go into doing this full time which might happen sooner rather than later I don't know yet just kind of seeing how things go uh, I will start selling on whatnot again most likely and probably like you know daily or at least every other day uh, to, to try to you know tap every resource that I can so that I'm like you know selling comics so that's why I am out buying these books to get more inventory because I'm always I'm always looking for more inventory because I don't want to miss out on the good stuff you know and you know I don't know if this is necessarily going to be the good stuff but uh, we will see if it is so let's uh, let's see what I get all right so I did get the figures Said they've been in storage for a long time he's bought him when he was like 15 years old uh, he looks to be about 35 or so so he's had him a good long while uh, but I got some cool stuff I got this Wolverine with the mask off this is my preferred Wolverine costume actually I like that he comes with the katana uh, box is a little bent up here Got some dust on it, but we can fix that. Got another Wolverine, classic yellow suit, second edition. Uh, this box is in pretty good shape, pretty good condition overall. Just do some dusting and we'll be good to go with that one. Got a amazing Spider-Man, multi-jointed action poses. Can you tell where the joints are? I can't. All right. We got the Juggernaut. Got an old price tag taken off of it. He's got power punch action. Uh, it's a cool figure. Back of the box is really cool. Man, these old action figures are just like, they're so great, man new action figures need to have boxes that are like this and then my personal favorite the one that made me really want to buy it is this bad boy Batman with bat rope his belt comes off if you had this figure like I did uh, that belt comes off and you can use it to like climb up stuff uh, I had a few of these, and those belts broke all the time. That's why I kept buying more of them. Uh, he said the same thing. He's like, yep, I had that as a kid, and my belt broke too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very, very dope. Very happy with these. So let's uh, get back on the road. I got like an hour and a half to drive this time. This guy was just like 15 minutes from where I live, so that was a good deal. Uh, so let's put these back up get on the road to buy hopefully around 1200 comic books i'm waiting in a ridiculously long line at burger king
waiting uh, to get a burger before I go back home. I'm back from uh, <clears throat> the deal with the comics. Uh, it's like 1,200 comics estimated uh, for, he wanted $600 for them. And I was going to haggle him down some, but he also said, well, I think it's a pretty fair deal considering all these hardbacks and stuff come with them. And I was like, what? And he showed, like, there's a box in this seat that's full of hardback trades and some big oversized books and a bunch of stuff and Pokemon cards. And I was like, well, I can probably sell that stuff too. So let's go for it. Uh, I'm all about getting some hardcovers to add to the website. So from, I just kind of skimmed through some stuff. Had a lot of newer <clears throat> Batman and uh, Superman stuff and uh, old Superman, oh, like 90s Superman stuff, which we all know everyone just absolutely adores and you know uh <coughs> had a lot of like what i call slaw had a, like a lot of crap comics that you know i don't think most people would want um but it had some good stuff in there too uh, i don't think it had anything like amazing in there we'll find out when i go through it whenever that will be but I wanna, i'm going to go through and uh, show you guys just a little bit of it and once I get it organized and go through it myself uh, it's in banana boxes currently produce boxes so uh, let's go take a look at this stuff and see what I got all right everybody I am back in my shop I have went through all of the comic books uh sorted it by publisher there is definitely more dc than anything else uh and the marvel that i got is not very good marvel it's pretty crappy marvel so that's kind of disappointing uh and there's a ton of independent stuff a lot of idw stuff but that stuff's mostly transformers so that's good um but, you know, as far as it being, like, a super awesome great haul and I'm going to make my money back in, like, three books, no, that's not what it is. It's pretty par for the course for how my comic collection buying has been. There's a lot of duplicates, a lot of newer stuff. Uh, so part of it, I'm sure, is just store overstock. Where the rest of it came from, I don't know. Because uh, there's some really old stuff in here, too. So, I don't know. I have no idea where this stuff came from. The guy that I bought it from cleans out uh, foreclosed houses. And this was in one of those houses. So, you know, he cleans them out. He gets to sell all the crap that's in there. And so, this is crap he was selling. Uh, but I think I can make my money back, which is what you want. Because I got a bunch of stuff that I can put in dollar bins. I got a bunch of stuff I can put on the website that is good stuff to sell and you know I just I didn't I don't think I got hosed but you know to get my money back it's gonna be a process uh, that's how it has kind of went so far in my uh, comic book seller journey so uh, I just pulled like I said there was nothing really there was one book that was whoa it's like I you don't come across this book often uh and so i'll save that one book for last uh but i just pulled some stuff that i thought was was noteworthy uh a lot of it's just total preference on me uh the first one this is a total preference it's iron man uh, volume two number one just because this is my favorite iron man cover of all time i just love all the cables coming off of him he just looks really freaking rad uh yeah that you know that's when they tried to that's the first time marvel tried to 
that's from the first time Marvel tried to kind of reboot their universe. Uh, the original Astro Boy, number one, uh, literally the name of the book, uh, from Now Comics. Not something that you see often and kind of cool. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from Boom Studios, number one. I know there's a lot of Power Rangers fans out there. Uh, I mentioned I got duplicates. Two copies of Captain Carrot and his zoo crew. Uh, number one. That's pretty cool. Uh, a couple copies of Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Adventures. Number one. Uh, I almost got the whole set of that miniseries. It's six issues. Uh, these other number ones segue into the next section, uh, which are sketch covers. I got a Justice League number one and a Dark Knight 3, the Master Race number one sketch covers. Uh, those are always good to have because people want them to obviously get a sketch from their favorite artist. I got a ton of Strange Adventures number one, uh, but this one was a sketch cover. Uh, the rest of them are just, you know, uh, I think cover A. And then I got three Batman number 29 from volume two uh, sketch covers. So Batman sketch covers, that's good. That's a good pickup. Uh, I got a ton of these art germ variants uh, for Batman number 92 featuring Punchline. And in my opinion, that's one of Art Germ's m most beautiful covers because it's just so colorful and it just really pops. So I got probably about 10 or more of those. So that's pretty cool. And I got the A cover too, which not as cool as the B cover, but it's still there. Uh, I got this uh, Libra Mayho variant to Catwoman 25. Romeo Ho's been doing a lot of DC stuff on Batman and his uh, he's got a very particular look to Batman and some stuff's just really dope looking. Uh, this Lego variant to Action Comics Volume 2 number 36. Look how cool that is. If you're into Lego stuff, that's right up your alley. And the Lego DC stuff is pretty funny. Lego stuff's funny. Uh, the games are funny. They're fun. It's very cool. Uh, Doctor Strange The Oath variant. It's black and white variant. It's pretty cool. Uh, and these are by the same artist that I don't know. But they are a phantom variant. Uh, and they just look really beautiful. Uh, Storm from Extraordinary X-Men and it's a uh, number one but it's, it's just a beautiful cover and that's my favorite version of Storm the Mohawk and what's cool is on the back of them there's like place for a sketch so that's pretty dope and the other one that's like it is a spider Gwen version so I thought those were neat. Neato burrito. Uh, and then I got a bunch of Detective Comics 1000. And you know, that's something that you're, I'm probably not gonna put in a dollar bin, right? I'm gonna sell these on the website uh, and at cons for less than cover price. Uh, Cause you want people to get a deal. But yeah, I got a bunch of these and I got some variants of it too. So that's good. I got one copy of Robin 80th Anniversary. Uh, that's the Dustin Wynn variant, pretty sure. Yep, Dustin Wynn. He's just got a very distinguished, specific art style. Uh, got a ton of Action Comics, number a thousand. Uh, no variants for this, just the main one the Jim Lee one which uh, some people don't like I don't really have a big problem with it it's just you know it is what it is 
It's not the coolest of the Action Comics 1000 covers. Uh, I know from the recent variants coming out and from selling on whatnot that foil covers are all the craze again these days. Uh, probably a nostalgia thing and then you know new collectors getting into the hobby. Uh, foil covers are cool. Uh, DC did a line of foil covers a few years ago and I got some of those. So where's the unexpected number five. Teen Titans number 23. Very cool purple foil. Got a few. Catwoman number four. Very cool silver foil. And her costume is very uh, Batman Returns ish. So that's cool. Wonder Woman number 56. With foil accents. That's really. The red's really cool. And I've always thought this cover was cool. Hawkman number five. With that cool blue foil blue and silver foil and then action comics 1004 with a very shiny silver foil color cover and then uh, I got a couple issues of Fright Night and those are cool for the the horror people out there uh, issues 10 and 19. 19 especially has a really cool cover on them. Uh, it's not number one, but it's literally the next best thing. Uh, number two of Miracle Man from Eclipse Comics. And uh, it's two copies of number two. Really wish it was number one, but I'll take a number two. And then I got issue 62 of the Tomb of Dracula. These are always super hot. People want these books and I want to sell them to them. And issue 63, very cool. These are obviously not as popular as the uh, early issues, but still that title is highly sought after. And then the best book in the whole lot just from my from not doing any looking up for some of the books that i've got that i'm going to look up uh just from my knowledge as i was digging through uh the best book in there is airboy number five uh the return of valkyrie and it's solely because of this cover that it is uh i think the last time i checked this was going for around 35 40 dollars and this copy is in very nice condition and it should easily sell for that so you know typically what you want when you buy a collection is you want some big keys so that you can make your money back fast and everything else is just profit that's what you want or the whole collection is just keys and you're just making mad money, right? Uh, but this is the biggest book that I got out of this haul. So is it the best haul I've ever had? No. Is it the best deal I've ever had? No. It's just an inventory resupply for me. And that's fine because I need inventory and I don't have to look for inventory for a little bit and the inventory that I do look for I can make sure that it's better stuff because I've got a bunch of stuff for dollar bins and back issues you know so uh, that's it so that has been my comic book and action figure road trip adventure i hope that you saw something in this video that you found entertaining something that brought back some warm gooey nostalgia feelings for you uh, and maybe saw something new that you've never seen before that you want to go out and collect and remember uh, i have a website without fearcomics.com if you use the promo code fearless you can get 10 percent off of your order and at Without Fear Comics, you can collect without fear. So, 
As always, be excellent to each other. Keep collecting without fear. Collect what you want to collect, what you think is rad. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.